Yo, yo, how we doing guys? We are, I think we're live. Let me just triple check. The bar is still loading. There we go, so we are live. Guys, I don't think a lot of you will be watching this on the actual live stream. I think the majority of you guys will watch it on the replay. It was a very spear of the moment thing going live here. So if you are watching live, feel free to comment live in the comments. If you watch on the replay, no hard feelings, of course, but uh, feel free to comment replay in the comments as well. We've got three people watching. Highlander, welcome, man. Let's see who the two others are. Reveal yourself by leaving a comment. And yeah, so basically, guys, I just wanted to quickly jump on and talk about the four pillars of a successful agency. The four pillars obviously being um, outreach, sales, project management and project development. And I just want to take a slightly different approach to the sort of outreach part of things. So the easiest close, of course, are the warm closes, right? So, um, you know, someone that is already familiar with who you are, what you can do, you know, what you've done in the past and so on and so forth. So how can we get someone to warm up to the idea of working with you? and being at ease knowing that you are the right person and when i look at how i you know approach um a call where i'm the one being sold to right so i'm the buyer and the other person on the other end is is the seller chances are that if i believe in the product believe in the program that is a one call close for them right like that is a very easy close for them um obviously you know part of that is because i do like to invest in myself but that's a story for a different day but more often than not, I'll have done my homework and prior to me jumping on that call, I'll know already I want to join this program or I want to buy whatever it is, you know, whether that's a product or a service. I want to join, I want to buy and that's why I'm on that call. And for them, like I said, it's an easy, it's an easy close. And that's not because their sales guy is so good. It's just because I believe in what I'm getting. So how do we get the clients, so your social media agency clients, to have that same feeling that I have when I'm on those calls. So when I'm the one being sold to, how can we get the clients to trust us and feel at ease? And for me, the easiest way to do that is to show them a proof of concept in the form of reviews, testimonials, um, case studies, portfolio material, results of past clients and so on and so forth. Those are the top marketing tools and the easiest way to get more clients is to show them what you've done for other clients right so my advice and like major takeaway point from this live stream for you guys is collect everything okay when you get a new client screenshot what their business manager looks like prior to working together then screenshot what it looks like once you've got the results if you do web development or you i don't know you optimize the conversion rate for shopify stores anything like that Take a screenshot of the store, what it looked like before, what it looked like after. Use everything as portfolio material. Keep a log of changes you're making in the ad account. Keep a video, you know, even if you just create a vlog for yourself with the things you've done, the changes you've made, and the results that you've gotten for these clients, because it's all material that you can use to prove to future clients that you can do a good job that you are what you say you are, that the service that you are offering is as good as you say it is. And it's also a way for you to distinguish yourself from all those other agencies out there. Because let's face it, you know, especially in this little sphere that we are in, everyone is starting an agency. There are, are you know, the gurus out there are promoting the agency model. You know, we're doing the agency stuff. Everyone that, you know, within this sphere is doing social media marketing. So how can you distinguish yourself from those that, or just quickly, you know, starting an agency because you want to make money quickly. Uh, they find the cheap outsourcer on, on, on upwork.com or anything like that, and they don't actually really know what they're doing. How can you prove to a client that you are not one of them, that you are actually there to earn money and make them money as well and get them results? The easy way of doing that is, like I said, testimonials, case study material, portfolio material, results of past clients, and so on and so forth. So how do we get them when we're just starting out? Which is probably the question that you guys are all thinking now, right? Like, okay, great story, Josh, but I'm just starting out. I haven't got the results. I can't show to a client that I am as good as I say I am. Well, here is an unpopular opinion for you guys. Just do the work for free when starting out. 
and before you grab your knives and, and pitchforks and, and stuff like that and say, oh, well, in, on your YouTube videos, you say that you, you're not supposed to do free trials and it's a waste of time and stuff like that. I'm not saying you need to do a free trial now. I'm saying do the work for free for this client, knowing that this client will never actually be a paying client uh, because, like I said, it just doesn't work like that, right? Like if you're given a service for free, and then in a month's time, you can't just say, okay, well, you're basically getting the exact same services I've been offering for free. The only difference is now you're actually paying me. You know, they're not going to go for it. They're not going to do it. So what you do is you actually do the work for free for this client, knowing fully well this client will never, ever become a paying client. And chances are it will never actually be a right fit with this client either. But you'll be getting some something that is so much more valuable. And that is experience confidence because you've got the experience so now you know what you're doing because let's face it if you don't really know what you're doing the sales calls are difficult talking to clients is difficult you're nervous because you've got that imposter syndrome right and in my opinion the easiest way to get rid of imposter syndrome is to actually be you know actually know what you're saying and be an expert in what it is that you are offering the expertise will come with time but the experience itself from that free client will give you the confidence to push on for the next one okay Proof of concept, so let's say you think that you want to run ads for a, I don't know, a supplement company. If you get a supplement company on for free, you get results, you know, you start running the ads, you realize, okay, this is actually working, then you know, okay, proof of concept, and again, you'll be much more confident when you actually go after those paid clients. If it doesn't work, if you realize, okay, this isn't, isn't actually what I thought it was, then no harm, no foul, right? The client hasn't paid anyway. You can just say, listen, it's not going to work. I can't see this going anywhere. Let's just cut off ties now before I start wasting more of your money. Okay, so proof of concept, the testimonial, of course. You know, if you actually do get the results, the client can provide you with either a video testimonial, a, a written testimonial, or a referral. Because that's another very, very important thing, right? If you can get clients' results, why wouldn't they refer you on to other business? It's the easiest way of getting clients if you've got results for client one, just ask for a referral and you'll notice that client two will come off the back of client one. And then lastly, case study material. Okay, so uh, what did I say? I said experience, confidence, proof of concept, the testimonials and referrals and case study material. You can get all that for free, literally this week, if you ask a client, you know, is it okay if I do the work for free? And yes, okay, you know, it's not what you guys want to hear, right? We want to know how to make money quickly, how to make money fast, how to, you know, get to six figures in the shortest time possible, but you'll realize that this is probably the shortest way of getting there because rather than spending three months in the trenches, you know, doing the outreach, sending out the cold emails, the cold DMs, you know, whatever you guys are doing, you can just say, listen, you know, um, I've got a lot of experience in terms of knowledge. I've got a lot of, probably best way to say it is you've got a lot of knowledge. You just haven't got the experience that goes with the knowledge. So therefore you want to test out some things. Is it okay if I run your ads completely free of charge? Um, and then if it does work, you know, I can basically get a testimonial of you guys um, that I can basically use for my own portfolio. Chances are a lot of agencies or a lot of businesses out there will say, yeah, go on, go for it. You know, if, if, if it doesn't work, they haven't lost out. They've spent a bit of ad budget, which at the end of the day, you know, they will have generated traffic from that regardless. Um, it mightn't have been profitable right away for them, but they haven't lost out on anything. You know, they can just use that as a business expense and then not, nothing has really happened, right? So go out right now, like this week, try it out. If you have not got a paying client just yet, go out and offer your service for free for a certain, let's say for a month, in exchange for a testimonial if you get the results. And you'll notice that it will be much, much easier to get more clients on in the future. Okay, so that's the first pillar, the outreach, right? Then in terms of sales, guys, it does not have to be scary, okay? You don't need to have this seven-figure sales script. You don't need to sound like Grant Cardone or what's the other guy called, Jordan Belfort, anything like that. This is what you do, guys. You ask the customer or the potential client, I should say, where they're currently at, where they desire to get to, and once you know those two points, ask them why they entertained hopping on a call with you today. Once you know where they're at, where they want to get to and why they're on the call, it's so much easier. And all you need to say is, okay, well, that sounds like something I can definitely help you with. May I explain about what we do? And all, you know, from that point onwards, it's easy. You know, all, all you do guys is listen to the client, build rapport, be a human being as well. It's very important. Don't sound like a robot with these sales scripts and stuff like that. Just come across as genuine, build up the relationship. 
see if you, there's a win-win situation to be created and then just ask for the, you know, ask for the offer basically, ask for their approval to work together. I all notice guys that it's so much easier than you think. And I'm, I'm, I hate, I don't like sales, right? I, I'm, I'm decent at it. I wouldn't say extremely good. Obviously, you know, we've got a sales team to take care of that. Um, but I'm, I'm confident in the sales that I offer. So when there is a situation where I need to hop on the sales calls, I'm in control and I'm calm. And at the end of the day, if the client's not happy with the service that you are one to offer them, no hard feelings, right? No harm, no foul. Move on to the next one. There are so many businesses out there, guys. You know, you don't need to put all your eggs in one basket. If one client says no, that doesn't mean that the agency life is not for you. You just move on to the next one. You know, you should be getting, you know, once everything is up and running, you should be getting like five to 10 calls booked every single day, regardless, you know, and then from there, you can pick and choose which one is the right fit, which one isn't. And obviously, once you get that many calls booked, you'll be more picky because you know, okay, well, if I say, if I, if I say no to this client, there's like five others waiting in line for my service anyway. And that is when you can start to charge more, your retainers go up and so on and so forth. But at the start, just be genuine, you know, try and create that win-win situation, ask where they're at, why they entertained hopping on a call with you and where they want to get to. If you think you can help them, just offer them the service and you'll notice it's so much easier than you think. Then point three, so we've had outreach, we've had sales. Point number three is project management. Um, and basically the only thing I've got to say about this is manage the client's expectations. I don't know, you know, everyone wants it as passive as, as it comes, that they don't want to be on calls with clients and stuff like that. But at the easiest way to keep on a client, apart from obviously getting the results, is keeping them in the loop at all times, okay? So speak to your clients regularly, send them regular updates, you know, send them loom updates, get on calls with them, ask them how they're doing, how the business is doing apart from the ads, explain the process to them. So explain, you know, what you're setting up, what the thought process behind that, how you're analyzing the data, etc. And you'll notice that when they see you're putting in time and effort to help them, that they'll repay you with their trust and of course, you know, the retainer of, of, the, of the extra month basically. So manage the client's expectations, show them what you are doing and if you are struggling to get results, explain to them why. Tell them, okay, well listen, you know, we're driving traffic to the store but we've noticed that a lot of people are dropping off the add to cart button, you know, why is that? Shall we hop on a call and figure out with the two of us, you know, let's get the team together, let's brainstorm, figure out how we can fix this. Oh well, we set up a new campaign and because of iOS 14, we've noticed that that retargets and audience that were, you know, were, were retargeted and is smaller than expected. That's why the CPM, you know, stuff like that, explain to the client what's going on. Obviously, don't go into all the details, that's your responsibility, you know, you don't need to tell them everything, but make sure that they know what you are working on and, you know, basically what kind of results they can expect. And you'll notice that it's much easier if you just tell the truth to the client, be transparent with the client and explain to the client where you're currently at in terms of getting them results, then just promising them the world with this 90 day accelerator program, what all the gurus tell you to say, don't do that. Just be transparent, be like I said, you know, be genuine and you'll notice that managing the client is so much easier as well. So we've had outreach, we've had sales, we've had project management. Then the last one, project development, again, unpopular opinion, but, this, you know, this is probably the project development. So getting the results for the clients is probably the most important thing of them all, right? Like if you can't get results for your clients, they will not stay with you. And what I had highly recommend you guys do as well is run the ads yourself, okay? Don't hide behind the cheap media buyer on Upwork or you know ones that you find on, on Facebook groups and Fiverr and stuff like that. Run the ads yourself. And first of all, you'll notice that the res getting the results isn't actually that hard. And it's you, you can find the, the content on YouTube and Google, right? Like it's not that difficult to run an ad on Facebook. And there's, I've literally got dozens of videos on my own YouTube channel as well. You know, different niches, different campaigns, different setups, retargeting, and cold traffic, you name it. You know, it's not that difficult to get results for the clients. And once you understand how it works, you will have basically learned or taught yourself a high ticket skill and you'll never go broke because you will always know how to market and how to run paid traffic. So once you start you know, getting results, so you start doing the ads yourself, you start getting the results, first of all, you'll realize that 99.9% .9 of the media buyers that you find on Upwork and Facebook groups don't know anything 
about what they're doing anyway. Like they haven't got a clue. But the, the thing is, if you don't know that they don't know, you know, it's hard for you to tell what they're doing. I had the exact same thing, right? Like I thought my media buyers, like this is like years ago, I thought they were doing a good job because I didn't know what they were doing. Now that I run all the ads myself for all the clients, it's so much easier to get results, first of all. Clients stay longer, and I realized that back then the media buyers that I that I paid hadn't a clue. You know, did, I, I don't want to swear, so uh, let's just stick to that. You know, they did not know what they were doing. And now that I know what I'm doing, it's better to get results, and I've noticed that a lot of the media buyers that you find online don't really know what they're doing. They just want your money, okay? So once you start getting the results, your clients, um, you know, you, you, your clients will stay longer, your confidence will go up, you'll be able to charge more for your service because you know, you've got the results to back it up, basically. Those clients will start sending you referrals for you know, your agency, and your agency will have a much better reputation on and offline because you've got the results to back it up, okay? So um, outreach sorted, the sales discussed, project management, managing the client's expectations discussed, and project developments actually getting the results for the clients. Those are the four pillars, and that is literally, you know, how for our own agency as well, you know, for uh, that's how we run it. And in terms of the coaching program, same thing. That is how we teach in the coaching program how to do it. And for those that want to know more about um, the challenge, I noticed that I got a lot of questions on that via email. We are currently running the ROI challenge, uh, the agency ROI challenge, to say where the goal is to generate an extra $1,000 monthly recurring revenue for the agency. And then from that point, you know, once you've hit that, it's just a bit of friendly competition, basically, to see who can sign the most paying clients in a 30-day time frame. Um, I published some results on email, on my personal Facebook, and I think in the group as well, just from some results, you know, from people that have signed clients quite quickly within this challenge. So if you want to know more about that, just send me a message on Facebook or Instagram, you know, whatever you prefer and we can basically walk you through and explain more about the challenge. But I'm probably gonna wrap up this live here. Hope you guys got something out of it. If you are watching this on the replay, like I said, feel free to comment replay in the comments below just to help the algorithm and boost this video a bit more. Have a great week, guys, and uh, we will talk soon.